to seven things you need to know to start your day. Number one, with less than two weeks until Iowa's primary election, one of the candidates for governor is now accused of sexual misconduct. The Des Moines Register reports three women have now accused Democratic State Senator Nate Bolton of sexual misconduct. Bolton released a statement apologizing to the women, but indicated no plans to drop out of the race. Number two, veterans will now have more freedom to see doctors outside of the Veterans Affairs health care system. It will allow veterans to seek care from a private doctor with the approval of a VA health care provider. The bill now heads to the president's desk, who is expected to sign it. Number three, federal health officials warning parents this morning that some over-the-counter drugs can pose a risk to infants and children. We're going to have more on this story coming up in about 15 minutes. Number four, the White House plans to hold a separate meeting for bipartisan lawmakers to receive classified information related to the Russia investigation. The development comes ahead of today's scheduled meeting, during which Justice Department officials and others will brief only House Republicans. Number five, NBA rookie Sterling Brown will take legal action against the Milwaukee Police Department. Yesterday, Milwaukee police released body camera video showing officers tackling the Milwaukee Bucks player to the ground before tasing and arresting him. Number six, New York Jets owner Christopher Johnson says he will pay any fines players are subjected to as part of the NFL's new no kneeling policy. Commissioner Roger Goodell announced the new rules on Wednesday. Players like Colin Kaepernick and others have chosen to kneel for the national anthem to protest racial injustice. At number seven, not a bad start early this morning, but temperatures back into the mid 60s already today, and we're going to climb even warmer. We'll talk about some changes to the holiday weekend forecast.